Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome to today's Wild Rift video. In this video, let's talk about Caitlyn. Now, before the recent nerf that happened to Caitlyn just a few days ago, Caitlyn was probably considered one of the best AD carries in the current meta. Not only is she really easy to play, she does a lot of damage, but also because she has the longest range of any other AD carry as well, which allows her to just bully champions in the early game, and that scales infinitely pretty much into the mid and the late game with Caitlyn as well, with pretty much any support can be paired by her side so she did need a nerf and a nerf that she did well very well deserve so let's take a quick look at the nerf the nerf as you can see the base attack damage went down from 58 down to 54 so you're basically going to be losing four damage in the early game now obviously this is going to scale a little bit into the middle lane game but to be honest you're going to build enough ad where you're not really going to feel it in the middle lane game this is mainly to do with the early game because of a really long range because she has the you know really really high damage not only from her auto attacks also from her abilities as well and um, that scale with her attack damage so that's why that needed to be nerfed now i've changed a few things based on that nerf that i've been trying even before the nerf and i think it's probably even better now after the nerf and one change i have done is i now run brutal on caitlin now as i mentioned caitlin has the longest range of any ad carry and also this just allows her to just auto attack pretty much any champion in the laning phase and that means that you can deal that extra 12 to 19 bonus adapted damage on hit against champions now this means that you're not really going to feel the effect of the nerf of the base attack damage yes you're going to feel it probably from the abilities but because you're running brutal when you're auto attacking champions you won't actually be able to feel it at all pretty much it's actually kind of a buff in a way yes you're going to be use, losing um, out on hunter vampirism which is kind of hurtful uh, but brutal i think is pretty good for caitlin um there's a few changes with the build as well uh, i still go for storm Razor as the first item as a second item now i just go for infinity edge i think infinity edge is way too good of an item to delay as a third item i still think the combo of storm Razor plus infinity edge is really really good but i still go for the third item being attack speed which is static shiv so all i did was basically swap static shiv with infinity edge um, swap these two around so you go infinity of second item and then static shiv as a third item static shiv still insanely insanely good more to reminder obviously this can be swapped out to lord dominic's regards um but just make sure you don't really go over the 100 percent crit cap unless you really want to you can go over that 100 percent crit cap if you're going for like a full energized build but with this build because i'm not really going for rapid fire cannon i'm going for bloodthirst as a final item because we need that healing because we don't have hunter vampirism that's why we swapped out um swapped out mortal reminder um so mortal reminder still really really good still gives you a lot of damage and then as i mentioned bloodthirster as the final item now what you can do and what a lot of some people have been doing as ad carries recently is building vampiric Skep uh, scepter early on or scepter or whatever you want to however you want to pronounce it uh you can build this early on you can probably build this um a little bit before so you can maybe build it around Maybe after your first item, maybe after your second item. I have one of these two items are really, really good. You can build it like that. So you can Storm Razor, then build your vamp Vampire, uh, Vampire Acceptor. And then you'll be able to get that extra physical vamp healing in the early game, which kind of makes Hunter Vampirism kind of well not worthless but it makes it makes the um adaptation that we're not going for hunter vampirism that we're going for brutal instead and there's a few other items that you can still go obviously lord dominic's regard is still really good ga is really good if you're really head and rapid fire cannon is also very good if you want to go for another crit item um but any one of these items are you know is still really really good like i said i think your core is always going to be storm razor infinity edge static shiv but like i said i just changed the order and you can build like mortal reminder bloodthirster ga rapid fire cannon kind of whatever you prefer and whatever you feel like is best at the current moment lethal tempo is still the best room because we auto attack a lot with caitlin we stack up lethal tempo very very quickly with caitlin which means we get more attack speed and we can exceed the tax uh, attack speed cap brutal i already mentioned bone plating is still the go-to uh, resolve tree rune at the moment for most ad carries just because how well it is at blocking damage during the lane phase but also how well it is at blocking damage in the mid and late game against bruises and assassins and then nimbus cloak as well so when we're using our flash and exhaust uh, we get a little bit of extra movement speed from nimbus cloak uh but yeah i still think kaylin is very very good even after the nerf that she received to her base attack damage you'll see in the gameplay as well this is from uh, the pre-nerf uh, not pre-nerf this is for from the post nerf uh, of 
Caitlyn. So this is me playing Caitlyn with that little bit of an AD nerf in the early game. But like you'll see in the gameplay, she's still very, very strong. She's still a lane bully. She still will always be a lane bully and she'll be insanely strong still throughout the whole of this patch. So hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next Wilder video. Peace. I need a pink cords, some trolling. So our base attack damage has gone down to what, 50, 54 from 58? We lost four, four attack damage. Was it that or was it like 58 to 56? I can't remember. Why is Nami mid? Why is everyone flashing on her? Oh wow, they actually got the ignite off. Let's crack this case wide. Actually somehow worked. Stay out of my Top way. Turn is under attack. Hot on the trail. Hog? To be honest, I have no idea how they got the kill mid lane on the Nami. But looking at the way this Lucian just moved, maybe I know why. I don't know. <laughs> That's such an easy kill. Sucks we didn't get enough gold to get BF Sword, but still a nice first back. A true professional is always aware of her surroundings. Top 200, Kaylin, you spammed a lot. Yeah, I spammed a lot before her nurse. I still think she's okay even after the nurse. You could just play Brutal on her now. Oh no. Yeah, but she's the but Shivana shouldn't be invading there. There's no reason for the Shivana to invade there. We've got a huge we like lost a few minions there as well. We have a huge wave push in. We had a huge wave pushing in. Like, I don't know. Shafana should realize that we have a huge wave pushing in and she shouldn't go for the invades. She needs to look at the minion waves. Oh, fuck. Well, at least we traded one for one. Don't die at least. That's fine. We traded one for one. It's worth it. No idea why Lucian dashed in there. Nice. Kha'Zix is here. Kha'Zix is here. Kha'Zix is here. Okay. That's fine. That's an okay trade. Lucian is nearly a thousand gold behind. We got the wave pushing in as well. This is this is really, really good for us. Wave's in a really, really good spot. I'm just going to keep the wave here and just not do anything. Oh, okay. I don't think we can fight though. I will not tolerate lawlessness. Scarves, I can deny this cannon minion. Actually, no, I don't think I will. I think our oh, his cannon's gonna die before ours. Okay, he's culling. I think he actually lost the cannon minion. I don't know where the Nami is. Where the hell is the Nami? Nice, good combo. Very, very nice combo. Yeah, Kane is still really, really good. Hot on the 
trail. Pain still feels pretty good. I mean, losing base attack damage in the early game is kind of tough. But to be honest, like... You just go storm right away. I'm actually going to try going vamp. Just to get a little bit of extra healing. Oh, how is it? Am I blind? Or is there? I'm just going to wait for 10 gold. I'm going to go for vamp sector. So I'm not going to finish bloodthirster, but I'm just going to get this for the physical vamp. Which is probably going to help us out. And then we'll go for infinity edge. I just want to get it and see what it's like. You go brutal on her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is with Caitlyn is that you can just abuse pretty much anyone in the early game because you're long range yes your base attack damage is not as high but brutal kind of makes up for it mm. i'm a huge wave bot lane no no, no. go roam go roam go roam I think my support should probably roam. Okay. That's fine. We'll just go first tower then. We'll just go first tower. Okay, maybe we don't get first tower. Okay, looks like they're fighting. I don't know where the Lucian and the Nami is right now. I'm kind of worried to step up. Okay, we got Rift Herald. Okay, Nami's there. Still don't know where Lucian is. Yeah, I guess we just get this first tower for free. Nice! No, we can go for boots. We got a little bit left over gold for boots. Oh, Lucian went top lane instead. Okay, so we traded. Right, so we used Rift Hold top lane. We didn't get a top lane tower. And I got first tower bot lane. <laughs> How does that work? I guess it just le left me bot lane to do whatever I wanted to. Check. Well, we don't have Hunter Vampirism, but now we have the Vamp... Vampir Acceptor, which we're just going to keep pretty much for the rest of the game. Because we're going to build Bloodthirster eventually anyway. And going Vamp Sector is a, uh, as a tier 2 item in the early game. It's not a bad. 20 AD, 10 Physical Vamp. Physical Vamp helps you out a lot. Yeah, I'm low on high life here, but because I have the physical vamp. There you go. Ready up to like three quarters HP. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Bro, are you fucking kidding me? Man, fuck this Karzix. Oh, it's so cringe. Fuck the Karzix. That's why I always ban this champ. This champ is so fucking annoying. I don't know what the rest of our team's doing. I don't know. I'm so fucking far ahead, but we're, we're, for some reason we're down on towers. I don't know, we're even on towers. I don't know. Top lane is really far behind. I much prefer this to desk duty. Why are you coming? Why is Kennen coming top lane? Just defend mid. Bro, Renekton comes top as well. Like, you can't push out the lane. Like, what are you doing, Renekton? Oh, people don't know about map rotations. It's really annoying. It's like, I went top lane because the lane was going to crash underneath tower, so we were going to lose minions. But Renekton, for some reason, still goes top lane. When he can just get like bot lane farm or something. Someone call for a sheriff. Nice, pretty big. Okay, I didn't need to ulti there. That's a pretty big engage, nice. 
It's so important in this game to know about map rotations and knowing where to be on the map at the right time. Like, just because you're assigned to top lane doesn't mean you have to go top lane for the whole game. Okay, Dragon's up soon. I have Infinity Edge on back. Oh my god. Renekton is running it. Renekton is running it. The good thing is, I'm ahead. Caitlyn's ahead. Lucian is giga far behind. Oh, I'm just going to take the spot lane farm. I'm going go for Static Shiv now, next item. Get a little bit of attack speeds. Let's investigate. Engage. No, just go, just go, dragon, go, dragon, just go, dragon. Like us getting dragon is infinitely better because we have uh, Shivana. You should gonna try and rift hold top problem. On my way. Oh, Lucian didn't rift hold top quickly. Ow. A true professional is always aware of her surroundings. That's okay, it's not bad. It's my business to know what others do not. Attack engage. 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 Hot on the trail. Does Shivana just really lose to a Lucian in a 1v1? The fuck? Need like 1k gold. On my way. Ken should be bot lane here. Me, miss? Not by a long shot. Nice! Well played, well played. Very, very nice. I much prefer this to desk duty. I'm just going to take walls because Siobhan is pushing bot lane. Hmm. I need to charge my phone off this. Crime is Logic is Is he going to take walls? Okay, he's going to take walls. Go back and get Zill then. I mean, I haven't got my boots upgrades. To be honest, do I really need it? What boost upgrade do I even get this game? Okay, that's just going to take mid-tower. I think that's okay. It's going to fall eventually anyway. Mid-tower is going to fall anyway, so it's all good. Uh, Fiora's pushing bot lane, which we need to be careful of. Hot on the trail. Renekton needs to be there. Renekton needs to, like, follow this Fiora. Like, we can't afford Shivana going bot lane, because then they'll just take Baron. Like, Renekton should be following um, Fiora right now. And defending against the Fiora. Like, we should not be having Shivana bot lane. Yeah, that's a good kill. Renekton Parsex is here. I don't know, this Renekton needs to...
the enemy champion. Let's invest. Oh, God. A fox. A true professional is always aware of her surroundings. Uh, just don't fight. Like, all Renekton has to do is just defend against Viora. It's all Renekton has to do. Let's I anti heal this game? This Probably. That's really annoying. I shouldn't get hit by any Lux Bindings this game. So I'm just going Zonyas just to survive the one shot from like Kha'Zix Fiora. I think that's the only two that I need to be careful of. I think I also got more to remind this game for the anti heal. This triple Drake a would be huge for us. Aware of her I'm dead. I fucking entered. I didn't think it'd be Lux in here. Bro, I, 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 I. I don't know, man. Like, I, 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 I Renekton just just doesn't know anything. I will not tolerate lawlessness. <sighs> like when he's supposed to be defending against Fiora, he doesn't, and when he's supposed to be grouped with the team, he doesn't. I don't get it. Oh, maybe you can save him. Okay, the Rakan Smurf. Someone call for a sheriff. Mr. Renekton's already said enough that I just don't even want to talk to him anymore. He doesn't receive help, so he's playing his own game. Yep, that definitely sounds like a GMP. This Renekton's like, oh yeah, I got no help this game, so I'm just gonna do whatever I want. I'm not gonna play with the team, like whatever. I don't get it. Enemy. 
professional is always aware of her surroundings. I mean, he's doing fine. He's doing fine the side lane anyway, so it's, it's whatever. I shouldn't have been the one that got caught by Luxology, to be fair. But still, like, we would have won the fight anyway with Renekton not there. I mean, with Renekton there. I should go back for more to remind her. I mean, he got top lane hip. It's not bad. Nice. Good job. I don't want to go back because I have so much fucking gold. That's fine. That was a good call to not do that. It's a really good call not to do that. Rage splitting. That's pretty much it. That is pretty much it. I'm scared of Kha'Zix and Fiora. Kha'Zix and Fiora are the two champions that I'm really fucking scared of right now. They're not doing Elder, right? No, they're not. Okay, Kha'Zix is mid. No, no, no. What is this? I much prefer this to death. Nice. Good job. Fjord was bot sides. He locks in base, so let's do this, no? Let's crack this case wide open. Like, why are we not just doing all the Drake? Die to Elder? That's not good. It's a spicy game. Spicy, spicy game. I want to sell my Storm Razor and go for Rapid Fire Cannon now. The Storm Razor's kind of fallen off. Like, I don't know why Renekton's not split, split in bot lane. Like, it, it, again, like... If Renekton wants to split push, he should not be splitting top lane right now. He should be, be split pushing bot lane. And the reason why he split pushes bot lane now is because then we can take Baron if more, multiple people go towards him. But now he split pushes top. And now he's dead. Not by a long shot. Like if Renekton goes bot lane and they bring multiple people like they just did there. We just easily take Baron for free. But because he's put pushing top sides, all the enemy team has to do is just group, kill the Renekton, and then they maybe win. I mean, it's just, I don't know. It's just logic, but I don't know. Like someone said, I guess he's just rage, push, rage push, pushing. That's not good. Oh my god, that Shivana damage. They both have GA as well. It's my business to know what others do not. Enemy turret destroyed. Caitlyn still feels good though. I mean, even after the nerf, Caitlyn still feels fine. Which kind of no surprise, really. 
I knew that Caitlyn was still going to be okay. A true professional is always aware of her surroundings. <laughs> game was a bit tricky because Renekton was just rage spit pushing and just yeah tilted I guess but just understanding as a player where to be and when to be and what lane I still take the win I mean he was just like rage split pushing the entire game but that's what it is what can you do 31,000 damage though I mean Renekton did the most damage on our on our team but just <laughs> just because he was split pushing the whole time just fighting all the time i mean he did okay to be fair like he didn't do that bad it's just annoying that we could have closed this game out sooner but he just didn't want to still good game though thirty one thousand damage even after the nerf caitlin still feels pretty good ggs